say you're the king of basketball. How do you fix it? So like, this is a good opportunity for us to talk about the way they do it in other countries, right? So, uh, you know, some mixture of an academy system that, you know, I don't see, like, if you look at in Europe, like Real Madrid has, you know, Luca's been a like legit pipeline professional since he was 13 or 14 years old. I would like to see those kinds of options available, mm -hmm. right? Like going back to that single dimension identity thing, if that's what you want to want to focus on, you should obviously be able to do that. Oh, if yeah. at 12 or 13, you want to commit your life to being the best, most professional basketball player you can be, then go after that. Um, right now, we have a lot of like accidental opportunities for that or sort of like half measured opportunities for that. But like, I would love to see like the Lakers having like a developmental, like the NBA franchises having a developmental pipeline. I would love to see USA Basketball and the NBA partnering on, you know, I mean, like, look at the, I was on Fox Sports the other day and Chris Broussard was saying, you know, and I agree. It's like the last five, six MVPs have all been foreign born players. Are we producing the best players anymore? I think that's an open question. Um, so even from like a, a self-preservation standpoint for American basketball, like who's the next face of this game going to be here? Right. And that's not to say that I don't, you know, I, of course, Giannis and Jokic and, you know, they're all great. I, I love it. I don't have a problem with it. But from an American basketball point of view, mm -hmm. uh, you know, some kind of joint partnership with the NBA and USA basketball would be I would love to see.